everyone, welcome back to another video. Um, don't know if you see any kind of difference, but I got a new phone and I'm actually recording on that instead of my iPad. Uh, we'll see if it, how it goes, if it works out at all. Um, it's a newer phone and so hopefully the video quality is better. We'll kind of find out as we go. Sorry about my appearance, I didn't get ready today. Um, it's been kind of cold out here, so I'm wearing this hat. The Scarab Trooper hat, even though it's October, but that's okay. Anyways, well today guys, I'm gonna show you um, Long Snoot um, for a retro review today. His his actual name is like Garinadan, Garinadan, Garindan, with holdout pistol, but he's Long Snoot in parentheses. So I got him for $3.99 at Vintage Stock and he's on the green Power of the Force card, pretty bent up, not worth keeping in the package. And he has a little holographic picture. Um, yeah, I definitely don't have any versions of him. I don't know if they made any other versions other than this one as well. I'm not quite sure on the top, off the top of my head. You get a little bit of a bio here, as well as some of the other figures in the wave. So, yes, without further ado, I'm going to open this guy up and give you guys a look at him. Okay, guys, so um, right off the bat, uh, you can tell he's very Power of the force -y. Um, and by that, I just mean that he's super bulky and um, his articulation is pretty limited. It's five points, like we're getting current day, um, just kind of at a bulkier size. Um, this guy's pretty cool. I love his little goggles. Um, he is a little bit sticky. The older ones are tending to get that way more and more, I've noticed. Um, so that kind of is a, is a bummer. Let's see. Yeah, it's just my my front facing camera is, is never as good as the one flipped around. Um, but anyways, he looks pretty cool. I like his goggles. I like his long snoot. Um, he is very monochromatic. I cannot remove his cape. It is it is stuck together he, there at the top. Um, as you can tell, his hand is filled in and so he can only hold his blaster with one hand. Um, and it kind of just sits there. He has articulation in the arms, but his plasticky cape kind of prevents him from moving very well. Um, he does have articulation in the legs. They just go straight out. Nothing super crazy, um, which is so great because you can totally sit him down. Not really, not at all. Um, and then his head swivels back and forth, um, but it is pretty limited still. Um, this guy is pretty simple, honestly, but he was a kind of a, a neat character that I didn't have and I figured um, I would pick him up to do a retro review. Um, but of course, what's what's cool about these plastic capes is they don't get wrinkly and they, they're not too large um, and they usually look pretty molded to the figure. So at least they look good. I'm just standing in like a generic vanilla pose. Um, you know, if you want more articulation, I would say stray away from this guy. But um, this was the this was the standard back in the uh, mid 90s. So um, nothing to be super surprised about. Um, pretty, pretty expected, but he's got a pretty cool little side view. He looks like an elephant to me. Um, but anyways, yeah, he's pretty neat uh, for what he is. And I mean, I paid $4 for him. So can't really go wrong with that. Um, but yeah, so there's there's him and, and let me know what you guys think if this is actually any better I've got a light on back there. I might turn it off because it's kind of lit. Anyways, uh, let me know if this Recording is any clearer. I'll look at it myself, but I'm not quite sure um, But anyways guys, thank you so much for watching and have a stupendous fantastical amazing day Bye.